Good morning, everyone, or good night, wherever you're at. I have seen some people commenting from all over the world on CKB videos. Drop a comment in the comment section what country you're from. I always love seeing how far these videos reach. Now, we're looking at a two hour chart of CKB Nervous Network. It's April 15th, 2021. It's 10 30 a.m. Central Time. For nervous holders this morning, we woke up happy because the price action was up compared to yesterday. I don't think this is going to last long, and let me explain why that's a good thing. As you can see, I've kind of markered up an ascending triangle here. Now, if we go down to, let's go to a 30-minute chart, you can already see that this thing is starting to retrace. I think this thing could bounce around, maybe come back down to the three-cent level, bounce off that, and we may see this thing get even tighter and tighter and tighter. Now, like I've been saying for about the last week, I think we could be witnessing the formation of a cup and handle. And it's becoming pretty evident that if this ascending triangle kind of fills out, that is a good possibility. We don't know yet because we're about halfway through a cup and handle formation in time sequence. So Fibonacci time zones are indicating that sometime early morning hours, April 17th, central time, maybe late night, uh, April 16th, we may see a shift in momentum. And what would be really cool to see is maybe a small breakout into another ascending triangle, something like that. And then as we get closer to this right shoulder of this cup, we will see price action dramatically start to increase. I have several theories on if this becomes a bullish situation and the cup and handle fills out, we may see something like this. Maybe the pivot point is here, okay? And we might see price action kind of come up and either fill out the rest of this candle. And furthermore, bear with me one second. Why is this doing that? Furthermore, we may see something like this. We may see a little ascending triangle or a bull pennant or, or flag form. And I'm thinking May 13th, we possibly could see a new high, something like that happen. Who knows? The correct answer is nobody knows. Second scenario, and this is what uh, could definitely happen here. Bear with me one second. There we go. We see this thing climb up a little bit higher, steeper, and then we see it test double top this four and a half cent uh, mark. If we create some sort of ascending triangle there, we must look for this April 27th, early morning hours, central time, late night, April 26th, we may see another shift in momentum. This could indicate as a pivot point, uh, high or low. Nobody knows at this point. It's still too early to tell. And this is wild speculation and educated guessing. That's all it is. This is not financial advice or trading advice or anything like that. I'm just kind of laying out some scenarios as to what could possibly be the outcome. We'll get into the bearish side of things and what could happen there shortly. Bear with me one second here. I do want to kind of present some past data to you in log logarithmic form. You can kind of see how CKB really cup and handled here. Uh, just, just barely, but it did. And you can see how uh, the last incident of a cup and handle that was major was right here back in late February, early to mid-March. Now, this really played out well, and you can see how much this price rose. In fact, let's go ahead and measure that. Let's measure from, let's measure from the median of the bottom of this cup all the way up to the top. Bear with me one second. Here we go. Bear with me. 
So that ended up running for 325% or three and a half cents roughly. Now from the handle, let's measure that as well. So about 180%. So 350% from the bottom of the cup, 180% from the handle. So let's go ahead and try to crunch some numbers here. So let's just say CKB from the median bottom of this cup decides to run upwards of 350%. Well, you can see that would land us, if it did the same thing, that would land us at 13 and a half cents. Now, assuming that we hold support off of this uh, left shoulder here, if this forms out the way I, I'm hoping, Let's just do 170%, 175%. And you can see that gives us a price tag of 12, 12 cents, roughly just under 12 and a half cents. So the potential is there to possibly see this thing land in the 12 and a half to 13 and a half cent range, in my opinion, if this thing decides to get bullish and a cup and handle forms here i guess nobody knows we can only speculate by looking at past data so hopefully that is what it what happens um you know we definitely could see this thing turn bearish and let's go ahead and discuss that at the end of this ascending triangle bear with me one second if this is an ascending triangle this could shape up to be a symmetrical triangle as well. I don't think it really matters a whole lot at this point. Uh, we do know that this thing has been squeezing forever. In addition to all of this bullish news, there is bad news, the bearish side of things. So let's go ahead and try to calculate where we may see this thing fall to if it does. So I wouldn't be surprised if we saw this thing come down and hit the 61.8 level uh, at the very bottom. Uh, if this formation falls out, we could definitely look for this 26 cent or this 0.026 uh, cent level, 0.0218 level. Uh, th these are some very powerful, powerful uh, Fibonacci uh, trend lines here, extension lines. I'm hoping the worst of the worst is over. We've already come down and checked this 50 percentile line and, and we rejected uh, that. So I'm hoping with this uh, very positive support that we've been building up over the last week, week and a half, that we do come up and retest this four and a half cent mark. Once, if that happens, if that happens, we will then need to hold that four and a half cent level. If it doesn't, expect something similar like this to happen. Again, maybe even a, a little bit lower. Uh, we just won't know until we cross that bridge. Folks, I hope you guys enjoyed this technical analysis. Just remember, it's not financial advice. It's not trading advice. This is just my honest opinion on what we could be seeing in the works. So. Let's go ahead and look at this four hour chart really quick. Actually, let's, you know what, let's go to this 12 hour chart. We are seeing uh, really a, a very nice bullish engulfing candle with 17 minutes left on this candle. This is great to see folks, bullish engulfing. How about that? Uh, this body is definitely engulfing this body. No questions about that. Hopefully the next candles, couple of candles we see over the next couple of days will get even greener and we'll see some bigger, greener candles to really take this conversion line and baseline up out of this cloud. And then I want to see that conversion line cross, that red line cross, that blue, that blue line above the cloud. So drop a like if you like this TA. Let me know in the comments what you think about C CKB. And I will be monitoring ckb if anything comes up in the meantime i will go ahead and create another video if i'm able to 
So I hope you guys have a great day. We'll check back in with CKB tomorrow. Again, let me know in the comments below if you have any other coins or cryptos you want me to take a peek at. And we'll catch you guys on the flip side.